Hello, I'm Drew Pin and welcome to yet another Zombie Survivors, which has had a bunch of updates since we last played this game. I think it was back in the summer, about four or five months ago, and obviously since then it's had a bunch of updates. And they've just released one that has added a new character class, the Pyro, to the game. They've also balanced and tweaked a lot of the stats and power-ups and that sort of thing. Uh, there's also a new achievements to go for, so any new achievement hunters out there, there's a bunch of these new ones. And, ooh, boss rush mode and one hit mode okay well that's new as well not sure when they added that one but that's new to me and then as i say the pyro is uh, a new one as well so survivors the team leader so if you don't know what this game is this is zombie or vampire survivors but with a team so there's various uh, character classes like an engineer the pyro's just been added a healer tank etc and you can pick one of them as a team leader and then you can add up to two others to your team to add their special skills and firepower, etc. to the mix, which kind of changes up from the usual kind of vampire survivor clone. Um, I don't think there's any... Yeah, there's no new upgrades, and we've kind of got them all. Uh, but let's just jump in here. I haven't got the pyro open yet because we need to do elemental damage. And I think the engineer, because I know he does lightning, I'm not sure what anybody else... I can't remember if anybody else does elemental. I mean, does it count explosives as elemental? I'm not sure. But, I mean, you have freeze arrows and explosive arrows, so that might be something. And you did have those uh, sort of vials uh, here, which were like a toxic one and like a sort of freeze one. So that might count. I'm not too sure on that one. Uh, but we'll take the engineer because they definitely have uh, electricity and that's going to be an elemental attack. So let's do that. And then we'll go to the isolated city. And then, yeah, we've got this one. So, oh, that's just a sort of endless mode, but obviously a tougher version. Huh, interesting. And then that one's an endless mode as well. There's no time limit, but one hit kills you. Dang. All right, well, I'm just going to go default because, yeah, it's been a while since I played this game. Uh, so let's kind of jump into that one and we'll see how we do. But, um, yeah, we've got to get the elemental damage first. And then we can kind of uh, go from there. But I know the lightning is definitely going to be, the, you know, the electricity is definitely going to be elemental damage because uh, I just tested it. So, um, you know, we should be good there. And then there are little power-ups or pickups now uh, which give us like a passive leveling system um, which has like a, like, oh, yeah, I noticed we've got four drops as well. Is that because of one of the um, upgrades that I've already got? Because it used to be three. Hmm. I'm not too sure on that one. Uh, let's go with the turret, though. Uh, but, yeah, that's changed as well. I wasn't sure whether that's because of the upgrades, because as I say, a lot of stuff has been tweaked and changed and stuff since I last you uh, played this game. So uh, I want my taser upgraded. There we go. That's good. Probably should have gone with electrocution or something, actually. The, tar the turret's really good, obviously, but we're kind of just going for the elemental damage uh, more than anything. But it'll come into its own later on when the... Uh, Waves start ramping up. So there we go. We've got one of those. And then that's one of four. And you can see just in the top left there, it looks like there's a sort of, uh, looks like a kind of, was it corporal or sergeant stripes or something like that. And there's a zero. I think we can keep leveling that up. Uh, we pick up four of those. We get to choose a new passive perk. But I think that only lasts for this sort of run. Uh, like there's another one, military trays in two of four. And if we get, to, if we get another two, um, we will then get uh, to choose a random perk, it seemed like a weapon damage or passive healing or whatever. Um, you know, it's just kind of random. Um, let's go with a tester because that was pretty sweet. Uh, but yeah, this was the game that got me into vampire survivor like games, which is why you've seen a lot of them on the channel in the last few months is because of this game. Um, yeah, kind of got me into them. I was kind of like, yeah, I was never really into them. And then I played this and I'm like, oh yeah, those are really good. So hence why I've been playing Fatal Zone and, you know, with other games like that on this channel. Because um, I kind of got into them. And let's go and get Boxy because they should have some upgrades. And some of these, uh, we haven't got any at the moment, but some of them seemed like they changed. But I, I could be wrong on that one. Oh, Chemical Damage Modifier. Oh yeah, that's different. Critical chance and critical damage. Let's just kind of go with that, I think. Yep, let's go with that. Let's do that. We definitely want that one. Um, obviously, the waves will ramp up, and then things like the endless mode, and obviously the one-hit mode now is kind of the ultimate test, isn't it? 
Um, that's you know gets really difficult. Uh, the green arrows. There'll be survivors on the map that we can. Oh, there we go. So these look like they're random. Oh, this little down here has changed as well. Interesting. Um, so slight hand. So like reduce our cooldowns, ability damage, healing bonuses, or we get more luck. Luck was pretty good. We could go with that. That means more drops. Yeah, let's go with that. That means more like power up drops and magnets and things like that. Or it used to anyway. And then the green arrow over there is going to be survivors. We can either take another survivor or we can take cash and level and do an instant level, which I think is what we're going to do to start with. We'll have a couple of hits of that. Um, you can see the money in the top right corner. That's what you use to do the upgrades, but I've gone way past that already. I've got all the upgrades, but you buy those upgrades, uh, which gives you, you know, more weapon damage or more health, etc. Let's grab one of those. And those are permanent as well, so, you know. There we go. Yeah, a really cool game. I believe as well, I forgot to mention at the start, it is on sale. I think it's till the 23rd of January, so... Um, there's a sale on for the next couple of weeks. Uh, if you like, look at this one. I think it's only it's like four quid or something anyway. So um, you know, but I think there's like 10, 20 percent off. I forget what it was now. Um, so if you want to save yourself a little bit of money, then you can do. Um, I'm going to go with the electrocution just because I want to stack the uh, electric damage. Uh, you know, that's kind of what we're going for. But otherwise, I'd have probably gone with the turret. But you know, I'm kind of thinking of that wooden stick. Yeah, that's changed as well, right? Ability area, ability critical chance, and weapon critical chance. Yeah, we'll go with that. That has changed. Could have sworn that was just critical damage, full stop, but it was like 10% or something. Ability damage, weapon damage, lifesteal. That could be pretty handy. We haven't got any lifesteal. We've got 1% value. Yeah, let's go with that. We'll do a bit of lifesteal. It's only like a 1% chance, but when you're killing the amount of enemies that are on this in this game, for instance, um, it soon stacks up, so there we go. Let's kind of go with that. Yeah, that's kind of a cool change. I look quite like that. It's something that you can keep going, because when you're playing the endless mode, after about, depending on your run, about half an hour, 40 minutes or so, you've kind of got everything, and there's not much left to do. There we go. Well, that would have ended my one-hit run right there. <laughs> Bloody hell. That's going to be a little bit rough, to say the least. Uh, but yeah, let's just keep on going. Let's go up to the survivor. I think I'm going to have a couple of levels first before we take a survivor. And we could just kind of power you up a little bit more. Uh, I've gone with the laser as well. You have to unlock these uh, weapons. Well, you'll kind of see that with the pyro in the next one. Hopefully we get that done. Um, this go. Ouch, there we go. Another one hit mode over. <laughs> Bloody hell. I think surviving five minutes is going to be extremely challenging on that going to be really challenging. Could be that the pyro is a badass and it's not that bad, I don't know. But um, uh, movement speed, damage, critical ability chance, let's go with that. Yeah, it was just critical chance before. It wasn't sectioned off into, uh, you know, weapons and abilities. That's different. Uh, I'm going to go with the electrocution again just because I say I kind of want to get the... I uh, just kind of want to get the... Um, uh, the elemental damage stacked up so that's what we're kind of going for this time around uh, let's go for boxy because uh, the box gives us one of those uh, upgrade cards which can be extremely powerful life jewel of life i don't remember that magnet range and electric damage modifier yeah that was just magnet magnet range last time huh Okay, uh, reach zero, revives you at 50% health points, uh, after which it breaks, becoming a jewel of death, which decrease. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to go weapon. So that would be my weapon and not my ability. Yeah, the abilities on the side there, if you can see on the side bar here, that, yeah, there's ability damage and weapon damage, because that was all just one before. Interesting. Okay, and then if you hover over it, it kind of tells you some of those bits and bobs as well. Huh. Okay. Yeah, that was good. Um, I mean, we're doing electric damage, so... Yeah, look, you've got elemental stuff down the bottom as well. Fire, electricity, ice, and chemical. Ah, 
so yeah the the uh, medic with the chemical grenade thing might be a good idea actually um i'm gonna go with that we can magnetize those things in a little bit faster you know and uh, we get a little bit of extra electric damage as well yeah, okay that's changed as well i'm just gonna go electrocute because are we actually shooting the electrocution out i've not noticed it oh yeah oh wow that is much reduced wow that's changed yeah i say they've tweaked and twiddled a lot of stuff so things that were powerful before might not be powerful now i don't know uh oh let's grab a magnet though because that'll level us up that's good well we may as well finish that off and then that'll kind of remove that from our deck doesn't it oh there we go that's a little bit more like it used to be I mean, the, the turrets were pretty badass, but uh, let's see what we get. The SWAT's pretty good. I might just go for one more. And we'll start working on the energy shield as well, because that was good. Just kind of stack the electrical damage as much as we can. So that was good. Anything that gets there kind of gets electrocuted, so that's going to stack up that uh, damage. Lifesteal chance, we could kind of go with that. Critical weapon damage, weapon attack speed, armor. We go with the life steal. Yeah, that's a nice addition. Okay, I hope they get some levels out as well, because we had the new level back in the summer, and then that's kind of been it. But they've been obviously balancing and tweaking and stuff, because uh, yeah, that's fine. But yeah, that's kind of what I'm be looking forward. Oh, oh, I hate that guy. Does he runny guy at you? All right, you suck, buddy. There you go. Go this way. And we'll grab the gold box. We could go with that. Movement speed and chemical damage modifier. Yeah, there's a lot of those different ones. And then that one, yeah. Ability critical damage, but it drops the critical damage of the weapons. Whereas I'm pretty sure it was just ability. Or it was just critical damage, wasn't it? Yeah, interesting. Um, to be honest, I'm going to banish the reroll thing. Because we just don't need that. Yeah, there's four of these now. There was only three before. Huh. Interesting. Uh, Fatal Zone has had an update as well, where they've twiddled and tweaked a bunch of stuff as well. So we'll have to have a look at that at some point. Uh, weapon attack speed, critical weapon chance. Let's go with the chance. Kind of up that a little bit more. Start stacking those criticals if we can. Let's see if we can kind of melt you, because you should drop us a nice chunk of XP. Oh boy. There we go. Alright. Just keep keep an eye out for a boxy. Now there's one of the oh that's one of those okay, the little orange glows. Uh, that, like the red glows on the corner are um health pickups. And then the blue ones are like magnets, but obviously that one is those um, sort of upgrade tokens as it were. Critical frenzy, that's got a kill frenzy even. There we go, that's good. And then I think we might grab someone now. Uh, we could go with the medic. Yeah, because we could get that, um, do the elemental stuff as well. You've only got like a little water pistol, but still. Uh, field surgery, health regen. There we go, let's go with that. And just health regen. The medic, though, on the one hit would be fairly useless, wouldn't they? Because one hit and you're dead, so doesn't matter how much um, health regen you've got, you're kind of screwed. Fair enough. It's going to be a bit of a nightmare. Oh, there's a box the other way. I didn't notice that. Oh, hello. Let's go there. And then we could max up our health by 25 dodge chance. Dodge chance. I think we'll probably go like attack speed or something. I guess you could re-roll those, actually. We'll try that next time thought about that you could banish something although quite the way you'd want to banish it obviously if you do an endless mode you probably want all of those eventually you could potentially oh clip size yeah so the yeah there's a lot of um negatives isn't there uh, let's do a reroll we've got like 13 of them snowflake ice damage fire damage is less 
ability damage. Yeah, a lot of those are now having negatives where they just were all positive before. Well, we could go with that one. Let's stack that one up a bit more. There's no negative on that one. Let's go with that. Parried. Ooh, that was close. That would have ended my one hit run. <laughs> I don't think, uh, past the five five minutes for an achievement, I don't think I'll be going for that one personally, but uh, yeah. <laughs> that's kind of out of my uh, comfort zone. Uh, let's upgrade your handgun a bit more. Because uh, you do have like a syringe which does the toxic damage, so that will help stack some elemental damage. So we can get that going, that'll be pretty good. And then we'll get a couple of upgrades. Just do that one, I think, and we'll get the pistol upgraded. And hopefully, when we level, ouch! There we go. What hit me then? I'm not sure. Uh, health regen, healing bonuses, life steal. Let's can we reroll? Oh yeah, you can. Okay, that's cool. And then I uh, presumably you can banish one as well. Just try that. Yeah, you can. Fair enough. Ability critical chance, weapon critical chance. Let's go with some chances. Yes, they've kind of divided those out now. Interesting. But I guess if you had some negatives, you could possibly use some of those to kind of counteract the negatives of the other cards that you picked up. Huh. Yeah, interesting. Great little game. So it's about four quid. So, you know, it is on sale. I'm not even paid to say that, I'm just letting you guys know. <laughs> it's um it's a good game. If you like, you know, vampire survivor type games, of course. Is that me? Have they lowered the price of it? Now I'm thinking about it. I'll have to look at that. Was it four quid? I don't remember. I don't I don't remember. Yeah, I feel like they've lowered the price of this game. But either way. Crack on, let's pick up and try and level up. App syringe gun, there we go. So that does do like toxic damage. So they'll kind of like cascade it. Oh, oh, you suck. Axie, I don't like you. Come to ask me a question and I don't like that. Yeah, there we go. They kind of like get uh, kind of like splash damaged and you could kind of infect them a big group of them. Oh boy. Hello. Yeah, it'd be stick to the outside on the one hit run, wouldn't it? <laughs> Hence why I'm not doing that or, you know, any of the others. I'm just kind of getting back into the game and... Uh, ooh, let's go SWAT. Ghost? I'm going to go SWAT. So I remember it was pretty good. Going to go that. We've only got to survive 20 minutes. Only, only 20 minutes. You never know, I might not survive 20 minutes. Who knows? Now there we go, kill Frenzy. Go for the box. Uh, ability duration would be pretty good, wouldn't it? These abilities last longer, that would be a good one. Level up. Oh, there we go. Oh, reach a team level of 25 in a current run. Okay. Field surgery, helicopter strike, grenade trail, reanimation. We'll go with the field surgery thing. Gonna run for this. Oh damn it! I hate you. Uh, yeah, the ability cooldowns. I'm trying to get stuff. Uh, when you defeat a boss, grants you three percent boost of ability cooldown reduction and ability duration modifier. All right, we'll go with that. Oh, do you get infected now as well? You never used to. Well, oh, that's kind of interesting. Ouch. Ouch. Right, I need the pistol. I need this guy going, man. Right, there we go. He's pretty, he's pretty good. Alright, again, he was good. Like, this could be a, this was a decent little combo before, but it could be pretty terrible now. I have no idea. get rid of that guy. 
Oh, there's two of them. Great. Oh my god, there's three of them. What the hell? Right, where's the... Oh, the survivor's over the other side. Okay, let's go for that. So that'll just give us levels and money. Now that we've got the three. Okay, let's go. Syringe gun, let's get that up a bit more. Okay, let's go for a box. Oh, we are 11 minutes, damn. Oh, we could go lifesteal chance. Vacuums up all the health packs in the area. Can affect it again. Well, that's not bad. Increases duration of picked up buffs by half a second for each stack of this item. That's not bad. We'll go with that. So that means like the um, yeah the kill frenzy and stuff would be uh, played for a little bit longer. Let's grab that. I think we just go like weapon damage. Pretty good, let's do that as well. The big fellas, oh, there we go, let's grab that. Uh, I want to kind of get this guy like the sniper rifle or something, because again, that was pretty good, but um, I don't know, might not be any good anymore, I don't know. Let's go with the movement speed. I've got one of those big fellas chasing me. Hopefully, though, we get the. Um, hopefully, we get that. Uh, what is it? Elemental damage is the word I'm looking for. Difficult to speak. I'm trying to concentrate. Oh, there we go. 1.21 gigawatts of power. Do a total of, I think that's a million electric damage. Well, that's a good sign. In a single run, that means we've got a million of that so with another eight minutes to go that should mean we can get that that's pretty good i'll take that that's good and then we can use the pyro uh well let's go with that shall we let's try and get this box if we can so weapon speed and armor i'm just kind of going for the positive ones but well well we don't have ice damage do we but yeah Gonna say that could have been a good one, but yeah, let's just go with that. It's a bonus, I guess. At the end of the day, uh, let's go with that. Ouch. I'd like to know how much of that uh, toxic damage we're doing as well, but hopefully, an achievement pops for that as well. That'd be good. Yeah, he kind of used to have to hang around that, but I wonder if he can do that anymore. That was always a good a good thing, but I wonder if that's changed. i got a feeling you won't be able to put loads of those out. Maybe you can, though, I don't know. Stay moving, though. Ooh, let's go for these um, little... We need to follow these things, don't we, so we can get some upgrades. That's something we do want to go for, because that's going to be like the box. And it's going to give us some nice little tools that are our exposal, you know, like uh, cooldowns and all that sort of stuff. Ability critical chance. Let's go with that. Yeah, those are things we definitely want to keep an eye out for. SOS signal. Let's keep on leveling. Let's keep on keeping on. Ooh. We'll grab that kill frenzy. Yeah, I feel like I'm leveling a lot slower as well, but uh, let's do that and we'll take the turret out of the pet deck then. And then it's done. You kind of want to just stand in the turret and let them get wiped out. But again, that might be a bad idea. Uh, let's go with that. Like a second one there. 
Are you just standing there getting melted? I think you are, right? Yep. Yeah. Alright, well. Let's move again. So there's a box over there. These military training things as well. Uh, collecting the magnet regenerates. That's not bad, is it? Elemental damage, 10%. I mean... That sounds pretty good. That's more... That's just going to be more elemental damage full stop, isn't it? Okay. Let's go with that. And let's get all of that. That should get us a level. Uh, let's put down the syringe gun. We'll get that one as well. Oh, hang on. Someone's throwing spitballs at me. Survivor. I want to kind of get another level, so let's kind of go there. Ah, there we go. Fire up. Fired up. Ready to go. Yeah, I've got the pyro unlocked. Brilliant. That's great. Uh, ability. Yeah, let's go with that. Critical damage. Let's kind of run down here. Okay. Uh, let's do the energy shield next, we might as well kind of clear that from the deck then as well. Oh, there we go, I and mean, I'm seeing, seeing a box as well, let's go back to boxy. Ooh, let's grab that. Yeah, I'm still only on... Um, uh, for each 200 points of maximum health increases, regen by one. Alright, I mean that would work, but I guess we don't really need it, but I'll take it. So, health regen is 30, whoa. Dang, that's pretty good. Means you don't need, I mean not that you necessarily need to take the, uh, the, the medic all the time, but yeah, the medic's becoming less useful. Yeah, one hit is definitely something. Do five minutes and then that's it. If I can do that, that'll be it. I ain't doing any more on that one. But hey, man, if you want that, ch uh, that challenge, it is there for you. Uh, movement speed would be pretty good. We could have gone with an XP modifier. It's a bit late in the day for that now, so I don't think we're going to go with that. Just go with some like ability damage or something. Kind of get you to out, run through there. All right, I'm going to re-roll because I want the bloody. Uh, we could go with that. Well, I've got the pyro unlocked, so I want to let's use those re-rolls. There we go. Let's try and get his bloody pistol sorted. So I want the I want the sniper rifle, but. Kill this clown off because he's annoying me. There we go. Yeah, if you stand in this zone, then uh, you are gonna die. All right, let's go for the survivor. And there's a box out there as well. Let's go for both of those. I want to re-roll and get the... There we go, the submachine gun. There we are. So that's definitely a lot better. Alright. Weapon damage when standing still. That's not bad. Armor and attack speed. Health regen, movement speed. Oh. Oh, for five seconds. Does that trigger? We've got loads of regen anyway, so we don't need that. Uh, let's go attack speed, because I'm probably never going to stand still. But I don't know, maybe that's a good thing. Everybody come back this way. Walk through that. <laughs> oh god, it's the axe, it's the axe wielding community. There we go. 
But yeah, then it's just taking loads of damage, yeah. That's still probably a viable tactic, just to kind of stand in these, fight them inside here, and then they're always taking damage. It was always a pretty good one. Ouch. Dang. SMG. Right. I'm moving. I'm going to go for a box or something. That's probably a stupid idea, actually, but never mind. Let's see if we can get some more of these. Why not? There we are. Get another level. Re roll again. I want the SMG. Oh boy! Oh boy! Right, there we go. We put one of those down. Critical damage, critical ability, critical damage. Let's go with weapons. Uh. Oh! Ouch! Dang! Well, let's just, we've got to survive 40 seconds. Let's just do that, shall we? Oh, let's take that. That should get us. Just kind of. Oh no, I didn't want to take that. Oh well. I wanted to re-roll. I thought it was still on the re-roll. Never mind. Let's go back there. Kill Frenzy, that's good. And then... Critical Chance, we'll just keep stacking that. Get those criticals going. Oh, there we go, never mind. We've done it. That should... There we go. Clear the way. Alright, cool. So we've got the Pyro open. Brilliant. There we go. We'll do that in the next one. Take him out. Obviously, they're going to have a lot of... Um, yeah, the laser did uh, 1.3 million damage. So that definitely uh, worked out all right there. Yep, there we go. Uh, we don't need to go to training. I think that's great. So what do you get? Increase elemental damage by 5. And then when we get you ranked up to level what I know these are the things you've got aren't you and then you'll get a flamethrower and something else looks like you got like a little blowtorch or something and a molly and something else not sure what that is uh, but yeah cool we'll use that one a melee and ranged specialist elemental damage yeah interesting yeah okay cool and there's still two uh characters to unlock as well by the looks of it although that's what's there anyway but um yeah, I think for now, though, I think this is where we'll call it and we'll end the episode here. So if you like that one, please give me a thumbs up. Comment your thoughts down below. Subscribe for more. I really do appreciate it. Stay safe out there, everyone, and I'll catch you next time.